I'm making this video, or I should say it's really just audio with the uh, picture, but this is going to be all about my testimony as a victim, a targeted individual, and um, a member of OSI Informers, I believe he's the head of it because he's the one who asked me to do this. Uh, he 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 wanted me to do this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get right to the point now. I'm not the best speaker. I write things better than when I have to speak them out. I, a lot of times I talk in circles, but hopefully you'll find this interesting. Now, um, I've made one video before. It was just very simple about the organized stalking and the cars following people around and all that. But this is really the heart of it. Um, which uh, this person from OSI and formers mentioned about remote neural monitoring and I'm not the expert on any of this but I'm just going to explain the best I can as as a person who I know is a victim of this remote neural monitoring um, basically it is that whatever the means was uh, some people it involves that they they could have something in them in, in their brain or body or something that gives a far away outsider the ability to monitor their their inner emotions and and their feelings and their thoughts but um the the symptoms that i've experienced um the the number one is that like people talk about V2K and voice the skull and how they how they hear things that like they know they're not schizophrenic but they're hearing things like giving them actions telling them what to do and things like that. I I experienced that. I mean all the way back in like 1998 the first time. And to me that technology is just it just it just scratches the surface of what these people are able to do and really like I mean this is not talked about much and this is I'm not talking about V2K I'm talking about something much deeper which popular science magazine which I could I could put the uh, link up talked about how in the future they're going they're going to be able to have uh, basically it's like thought communication that, that's the easiest way to say it where you can like you don't have to talk and and you could like have thoughts transferred back and forth without any you know it, it's it's through science and, and this is, goes back a long way to the days of uh mk ultra which that was just the beginning of just testing with drugs to see how the drugs can produce an effect to control somebody now they've gotten it so far where they could literally implant thoughts in you in your head that you think back to the thoughts that you're given it's like thought communication and I, I, I'm a little upset people never mention this they always talk about V2K V2K goes back way further than I mean I know like Facebook and all this internet stuff wasn't around back in the you know mid late 90s whatever but that is old v2k is old news i mean remote neural monitoring they also they have abilities that they can influence your behavior cause you maybe you know to cause hunger tiredness a any sort of emotion or, or feeling you know that they could try to manipulate you to try to induce that in you and you might be asking, well, all right, all this, you know, maybe you think this stuff sounds crazy or whatever, but why would they do this? It's a very simple explanation for that. Your governments and your corporations for the longest time have wanted to control humanity and influence how they act. They're, they're, you talk about mass mind control with like television and media and propaganda. Well, this is even deep, way deeper than that on an individual level. It, it's to control the masses. So certainly there must have been people, which I know I'm one of them, who they used as an experiment to test how we could go further with this, how we could implement the, you know, I should say manipulate the mind, 
how how we could how we could decipher thoughts like you know and how are they going to do that i mean like in you know now they have tech to do it without any chipping or all that but this stuff is not brand new i mean it is it, it's, it's been around for the longest time so certainly i mean i'm 34 years old so i was born in 78 so certainly in the early days they needed more uh material tech to try to test this stuff than they do now so i i mean i do not have proof of of what i speak of and i i'm not seeking to look for proof of uh going to any sort of a doctor or industry or, or, or court or i'm not gonna uh i'm not i'm not gonna like fight the system with this because i know it's gonna be fruitless and i know i'm gonna be like uh, derailed on it if, if I go out and it could make it worse it put more attention on me and it, it, it'll probably make it even worse the abuse I, I, I'm already going through if I try to I'm not planning on winning any lawsuit or no million dollar thing I mean yeah I know like it, 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 it's an ironic world when like somebody spills a hot coffee on their lap from McDonald's and wins a two million dollar lawsuit but you got chips in your brain or whatever and all this abuse with people following you around and you don't get a penny that that's true I understand that but I'm not I don't want any money I have no agenda of telling the story I'm just looking to create awareness of what is happening to me and probably I would say hundreds of thousands of others who are victims of this and this is a tech that was um, it was implemented in an effort to try to control humanity and there were test subjects going back a long ways in history I know a lot of TIs talk about they say they've been a, 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 a you know five years they think they've been a TI or maybe just the first year I mean this is literally in my case going back to the early days of my life I mean back to like 1981 when I was just a kid that something was done to me and I have marks on my head from a very early age to prove that, you know, I've had five head injuries, which, I mean, how many people randomly have five head injuries? So you have to wonder with that, right? I mean, how many of them perhaps were purposeful so that I could go to a hospital and the work could be done on me? I mean... I, I, but I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not looking to get any proof of this or because I do not trust the people who will try to say, oh, well, we'll help you get the proof and, you know, we'll solve it all for you and, and you'll live happily ever after because that's not what this is about. I mean, this right now, this is about the say, let's just say hundreds of thousands of targets, but eventually this is going to be about everybody. And I mean, like, the only people exempt are going to be the, the elite few who control the whole thing. So, like, if somebody doesn't, if they think, well, you know, this is not my problem, I don't really care about this, it, it does not work that way. Because, like, anybody who just says, oh, I don't care, or it's not my problem, eventually they're going to be the target. So the more people who just like go in hush hush silence and never say a word about it, it's the worse off all of this is. And me, I have nothing to lose. By, I, could either, I could either put myself out now with how I know how, with, with just a simple audio commentary like this, and like at least I'm prepared now to know what the future holds than finding out the last minute and being shocked. I mean, there is just so much to it, and, and I'm just mentioning, I mean, it, it literally is a day-long battle of, of, I mean, trying, they try, they, they manipulate you, every single emotion you have, and, but I fought it well, I mean, I sound pretty rational, uh, I'm, you know, fairly intelligent, I'm, I'm not, I mean, I've lost a lot through this abuse, I have a lot of physical problems, mental health problems, I was diagnosed schizophrenic in 1997, and the story of that, I feel, was that the, the abuses led to the schizophrenia, it was like a, uh, like a trauma, like when somebody's traumatized, they, they go through a, a nervous breakdown. But like I've, I've had three mental hospitalizations, seven months of my life has been in a mental hospital. 
and I've never had the comfort of people saying, well, James, you know, I think, I think you're onto something here. I, I, I don't think you're so crazy. I mean, some people have, a lot of people have told me that they, they say I sound rational and normal, and, but I've never had the comfort of knowing, like, somebody who said what you say about the targeted individual situation is entirely true, unless they're a target themselves, which, you know, that's just the way it is. It's just, it, it, look at, like, uh, look at look at Nazi Germany in, 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 the, in the 30s and 40s. I mean, when the Jews were... Uh, you know, being being slaughtered and all that, people just, they, they just shut it out, you know, they just, they didn't speak of it, they lived their lives, they enjoyed the things they enjoyed, and it was just, don't talk about that, so it, that, I mean, the, the thing about that is back then in Nazi Germany, it was just an issue of the Jews and the ones against the Nazis, but now, in, in what we're experiencing with with the which this is all about the new world order now it's not just about one race or one class rich or poor it's everybody so people are only going to be able to ignore all of this for so long right, so the, you're better off you're better off getting involved in it now and at least just knowing about it than just shutting it out and then being shocked later and that's that's really I did the best I could with this. I know I went in a million directions here, but it's just the way I think. And I if 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 uh, the member of OSI Informers wants me to do another one to, to to stay more on target with this, he can let me know. And you know I I, I thank him for asking me to do this.